Hello everyone. So today um, I have a video about a little experiment I uh, did for um, sort of in response to all the fake news and um, people posting things just willy-nilly without really fact-checking anything and uh, just accepting what the media hands out to us. And well, this was sort of in connection with my whole the whole bathroom um, transgender bathroom thing. Um, See, I took the wording of Obama's um, bathroom bill, basically saying that any school, any public school that does not allow transgendered students to use whichever bathroom they please, uh, will be denied funding. Um, this was part of a bill. Don't let anyone say that it wasn't. Um, I did. I saw the bill, and it was in there. Now, did he actually do it? He, to my knowledge, he did not. Um, but it was written in the bill, okay? And I keep referring it to as, as a bill. It was actually an executive action. And that stated, what I did was instead of using bathrooms, I said prayer, because prayer is a big hot button issue uh, in this for this administration and many other administrations. Um, prayer in schools is a huge issue for many people. And I would say it's almost an equal issue for people as the bathroom bill, um, or the bathroom issue, or how it has been made into a big issue. Because it really wasn't a big issue before that uh, jerk in Indiana signed a bill that said uh, you have to show your ID to use the restroom if you're, you have ambiguous gender look or whatever. I don't know what spawned that thing. It was, it was a shitty bill in the first place. So, what I said on my post was, well, it looks like Trump is going to push through a bill that, that will make it all schools that fail to have prayer times will lose all federal funding. It's not happened yet, but it looks to be. Now, that last line there should have been a red alert for people reading it. It's not happened yet but it looks to be. I purposely put that in there for people to see, whoa, is this really happening? Is this really true? Is Trump actually pushing this law through? Of course he's not. But these are the reactions I got. The first person who, po who posted <laughs> seemed to be thinking. He was, I hope you're joking. I did want to PM him and say, dude, this is just a test. I want to see what people do, how people react. Uh, then my girlfriend uh, stated, because she was in on it, now this is a huge violation, could not be tolerated. <laughs> this should have led people to go onto the net and search for Trump Bill Religion or Trump Bill Prayer in Schools. Unfortunately, this wasn't the case. The next response was, that sounds more like a Pence bill. Anyone else get the feeling like Trump is a little more than a trumpet? Ha ha ha. Joke on his name. Then, this individual, finally, I did a quick search this morning and found nothing to substantiate this thing. Please, Pythos. And yeah, Trump is just going along with stuff. It was apparent somewhat earlier in the transition, if not before, that this would happen. What he's talking about is how, during the transition, Trump was talking about taking away gay rights. Trump never once said he was going to take away gay rights. He, there is no voice of him ever saying this. Now, he's gay. If there he's is, if there is, please post it in the comments. Next comment. Honestly, this would not surprise me. It would not surprise this individual that Trump would push this through. This individual is a friend of mine, and they are consistently speaking off the uh, media, what the media pipes out. Um, this individual has stated that Trump is anti-LGBT. Despite the fact Trump is probably the most LGBT president we have had in a long time. He has stated he doesn't care about uh, gay marriage. It's a done issue. He has stated this. 
Okay, so next one. Ugh, I'm not looking forward to his next expected executive order abuse. That shows absolutely no fact check. Next person. One of the other ones. I'm trying to find the bill, but the internet eludes me. What is it? For example, HR 899, etc. This person knows what a bill, how a bill actually looks. HR, House Representative 899. That's just an example for them, for me to say, oh yeah, it's bill, blah, blah, blah. But I didn't have such a bill because the bill doesn't exist, thank God. <laughs> now, after I let some time pass, I stated, this is a ruse. I meant for this to be a ruse. I meant for people to actually go out and find out if I'm full of shit. This is the problem that we are facing. Not enough people actually got on their keyboards and typed in a search about Trump making a bill uh, to force public, public prayer in schools. Now, the other interesting thing is, is how people accept a bill, uh, a executive action by Obama that basically blackmailed schools into having gender-neutral bathrooms, or they would lose funding, but they trip up about Trump pushing through prayer in schools, or you lose funding. Both bills, both actions, both laws would be bullshit. They would be wrong. Now, would they be unconstitutional? Of course, prayers in schools would be unconstitutional. However, forcing it so that people who just identify as a woman to go into, be able to use a woman's restroom, I don't think a lot of women are all for that. I know my girlfriend isn't. And, yeah, there's this sort of like, oh, you're saying all transgendered are rapists. No, I'm not saying that at all. Okay, I don't think they are. But I do know there are guys who would pose as females to be able to get into the bathroom and do nefarious things. Not rape. Not assault. But voyeurism. Peeping videotaping, listening, beating off. I know that sounds disgusting. I know that sounds terrible, but come on. We're talking about the general public and let's, all you need to do is go onto YouTube and find all the upskirt videos out there where perverts, and I mean perverts, have taken cameras and put them up girls' skirts in public. They're all over YouTube. Just go ahead and search public upskirt or bathroom upskirt because it happens. Now, there will be people saying, well, what about uh, female to male going into a uh, male bathroom? If they are female to male and they're going into a male bathroom and the male discovers that they're female, I don't think a male's going to do anything. And also, she put herself in that situation. She voluntarily put herself in that situation. Whereas a woman in a woman's restroom having a guy, what is essentially a guy, enter the bathroom, she has no choice in the matter. And that's the big problem with this whole thing. Like I said in my other video, bathrooms, the way they're laid out, are stupid. They should not be gendered in the manner they are. They should be uh, separate units, all grouped together, and a wash area. That's it. Not these stupid stalls that we have. Uh, an individual in the follow-up conversation after I revealed that this was a ruse, of course, some people actually tore into me. People are like, how could you do that? How could you do that? But the thing is, if they don't trust me anymore, yet they continue to blindly trust the media, I think that's a problem. Wouldn't you say? I think that's a big problem. People are not fact-checking things. People are not checking to make sure that the stories and the news stories that they see are what they are. CNN, New York Times, 
all of those have either spun, obfuscated, or flat out lied when it comes to Trump. What really sucks about all this is I'm coming out to be a staunch Trump supporter. No, I'm a supporter of the truth. I want the truth out there, not lies, not spins, not exaggerations. Because this is important for the safety of this country. We need to know the truth, not what the media wants us to know. Amber, have you got anything to say? Oh yeah, um, when it comes to um, people not checking their sources and not, I have caught so many people clicking on or looking at the, the title of something and commenting or posting it and getting outraged where I have multiple times I've clicked on the actual article and read the article and it was actually saying something different from what the title was saying or their outrage was nullified if they had actually read the article and um, also I've clicked on sites that were obviously satire. I clicked on this one. This girl was oh my god this is so horrible and something someone said that sounded like nuts. I'm like there's no way that you said that. So I clicked on it and it was really clicky like a clickbaity like it had a lot of click up ads. Ugh. Right. And a That's the first like, warning right yeah, there. And a lot of things on the side that were kind of shocking. I'm like hmm. So then I check it and I said is this like um, I clicked in the search like the website satire and then it took me to their about page which it openly says this is a satire <laughs> story and we'll run it as you know as a, as a satire news story. And that was in their about. So no one ink looked on the article. No one checked the website. No one did any of that stuff. They just saw the title and got outraged. This same woman later on was telling me how she was going to educate me and how I need to be educated. And I'm like, <laughs> you're going to educate me? You right. don't even check your sources. I mean, if you are, if for me, if I'm on, on Facebook and I see a person posting just post after post after post from like unknown news sites about with crazy stuff <laughs> and I find out that stuff's fake I block that person I, I don't want I do not want someone who's going to be putting just bullshit after bullshit like the whole Trump thing Trump security thing people don't realize that before Trump was president he still had the New York cops guarding his place actually he didn't the New York cops were guarding his place because they felt it was necessary so New York's already paying for that security. It might be a little bit more than it was, but also Trump has his own security team. But because of the way things are written, I believe the Secret Service has to guard the president or past presidents, mind you, uh, by law. So Trump couldn't have his own security team guarding him, although my understanding is he wanted his own security team guarding him. And for all we know, they might still be guarding him. I don't know. But uh, believe me, Trump Towers were probably surrounded by New York cops all the time before Trump was president because he's a high profile target. And I mean, a target for like ransom, that sort of thing, grabbing Melania. Even if Trump isn't president, they could have grabbed Melania and held her for ransom. Don't think this is all Hollywood filmed crap. This stuff has happened in the past. Two people of high profile. Here's one, Lindbergh baby. Okay, look hit, look that child up. That actually ended tragically, and and Charles Lindbergh was a, a, a ruined man after that. So, bottom line is, take a page from Ronald Reagan of all people. Trust but verify. Trust your friends. Trust what they put but verify what they put and find out if what they are being told by somebody else is actually true. And if you find that it's not true, don't just be quiet about it. Speak up. Put, this is bullshit. Here is the actual story. Blah, 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 blah. And put a link so that other people can fact check that link and see if it is in fact a lie. Here's another thing. Amber brought it up about satire sites. Before I really started checking on things, I was pulled in by these satire sites. I got to a point where I was sick and tired of the damn things. I like the Indian. 
but I'm not subscribed to it anymore because I got tired of it. Because right now we're living in an age where satire and reality are kind of blending together. This is not good. This is a bad thing. So anyways, uh, I will just close with, with those faithful words of um, Ronald Reagan. Trust but verify. Thank you for listening. Subscribe and please comment. Uh, subscribe, comment, and share. Have a good day.